Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, thanks for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your reading to see who is thinking about you, um, who's got you on their mind and what exactly they're thinking about or dwelling over. So it can be your person. Um, and before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. And also if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so by signing up with the join button on my channel. Otherwise... Let's see, the person who's thinking about air signs, who is this person and what are they thinking about at this current time? Okay, definitely a Virgo is popping up here, the Hermit. It's someone who's potentially been a little bit of a, a loner, like I feel like this is someone who has maybe distanced themselves from you. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's on their own. So I feel like this is someone who's single. Um, they're doing a lot of fantasy. Okay, the reverie card is here. Uh, I'm getting a sense that they're thinking about a lot of things about the future or what a future with you would look like. Ace of Swords. They may be thinking about how you began things. You've come up as the Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords reversed. Okay, so they... This person is... Uh, having a bit of anxiety and they're thinking like you have other options so the hermit is like it's a complicated situation because i feel like this is someone who has stepped away from you said they like don't want a relationship or said that you know they're not ready for a relationship or they're not ready to leave a relationship and it's like they want you but yet they've stepped away from you so they're doing a lot of fantasy they're wondering how you are there's a lot of um we've got the question mark here so there's something that i feel like they want to ask you they're thinking about a particular question uh and i feel like with the six of swords the question may be around like not moving on like i'm getting a sense that they're thinking you haven't moved on but you have options type thing so it's complicated it's like they don't want you but they don't want anyone else to have you now Ace of Swords here, they they are thinking about something new that's recently come into your life. So they might have heard you got a new job, a new living situation. You started something new in your life. So they're thinking, they're questioning sort of how that's going for you. Um, I feel like with the Five of Swords, this is about how things were left. Five and the Six of Swords, something was left like inconclusive air signs. Like they're overthinking how things ended especially if there was another person in the picture like if there was an ex or if there was a new person that you had they're having some anxious thoughts about this and they keep dwelling on this to be honest it may be this earth sign i'm getting a strong earth sign thinking about you the taurus cappy in particular a virgo we also have the reverie card it gives me piscean vibes so there may be a pisces thinking about you here as well um i write the the reverie card for me is like what could have been so there may be someone here who's like i get that this person is no longer like connected like even if you do talk to them you're not you're not in a label with them like you're not in a relationship um you're not something official uh, we've got the moon here so it can be a cancer here as well um and this person has like pulled away they're single but they keep thinking about the way things have ended. Six of Swords, I don't think they're in a place where they're ready to move on entirely. Um, Ten of Pentacles is reversed, so they possibly, you know, that's the like the family card, the relationship card. It's reversed, so I get a sense that right now this person isn't thinking about a long-term relationship. Page of Pentacles is here, so they may be sort of flirting. They may be doing the online dating thing. They might sort of be uh, doing these little bits and pieces, like maybe they talk to someone here and there. But I just, I get a, a sense that they're not wanting that commitment, um, especially if they've come out of something here with the hermit. It says to me that there's something, I'm getting a, a sense that someone's depressed. Uh, so they could be really depressed about how things maybe ended with you. Ace of Swords, sometimes they think about fighting for you and what that would entail. Like, it's almost like they're revisiting the relationship going, like, I wonder if I get back with this air sign, what would life be like? Have they changed? Have Are they different? Have they grown? Um, have they outgrown me? So they're, they're asking a lot of questions to themselves here, thinking about these things um, in retrospect. So, yeah, I get a sense that Five of Swords, Six of Swords, they, they're connecting you with drama, okay? I don't know if you've gotten involved with other people, but it's like, to them, it's a connection of drama somehow. Like, 
<clears throat> and a part of them doesn't want that drama. Some of them want you, but they don't want the drama that can come with you. Um, or it's like Ten of Pentacles. They're not in a relationship kind of energy. Even if you did talk, you did hook up, they probably wouldn't be able to give you what you want, um, air signs. They could still be connected to the past. They keep reliving the past. Like the moon can be the past and the subconscious. So they might be having a lot of dreams about you. They might be reading over old texts. Texts. Um, they might be looking over your old messages, you know, looking at back where it all started maybe. Okay, Libra's coming through, a Taurus and the Ace of Pentacles. There's two Aces here, so there's someone here who's been thinking about giving things another go or having another chance with you in a relationship. Um, so there is someone who may be coming out with an offer here soon, so you may hear from them and they may reach out with the Ace of Pentacles. They're like, this person's keeping the door open, so they're not closing the door entirely of you, uh, entirely. So like maybe... <clears throat> Maybe they still check up on you here and there. Um, maybe they're making it a pact to stay single um, until you guys reunite, until you get a second chance. They're sort of keeping something open. You know, maybe they haven't blocked you. Like they don't speak, but they haven't blocked you or they haven't blocked you on all um, social media or like your number and stuff. So maybe they're keeping the door open to a possibility. Um, I get that there's some stubbornness at play here, but we've got the marriage card with the Libra with the justice and this is like karma so this is about like cutting ties there's stubbornness with cutting ties so i'm getting a sense that they keep saying to themselves or like thinking to themselves okay i made a pact i'm not going to talk to this air sign like i'm not going to talk to you um i'm going to do my own thing i want to do this i want to do that like they've made a pact to themselves and they're being super stubborn right now um it depends on this person because everyone's going to be really different but if this person is stubborn then i get a sense that they're going to be stubborn about cutting ties it might not be forever um but the hierophant is love so there's someone that's maybe still in love and the fantasy that they're having the the new chapter that they want to have with you may involve marriage it may involve a better commitment than you had before like you know sometimes the universe gives us second chances with a particular person because maybe it's not finished and maybe you needed time to be away and alone and grow as individuals before you come back together because maybe i don't know maybe you guys need to date different people and need to see like need to compare this person to the new people that you're dating or maybe you need to do everything you wanted to do when you were single or things that they wanted to do when they were single i mean some of you might want that some of you might not but it could indicate that that's the kind of energy um but i do get with the seven of pentacles like this is like a watching and waiting and they're planting the seeds so i get that this person doesn't want things to be finished entirely um six of swords is reversed they're not moving on from the air sign which is you they're not moving on completely so it makes me feel like they may be hopeful that the universe will put you into alignment once again and if it's meant to be, it'll be. Fate will bring you back together and you'll reconnect. And hell, things might be so much more amazing than they ever were between the both of you. You know, things happen for a reason and we just have to accept that sometimes. And I know with air signs, it's hard because we're super impatient. We want things yesterday. And that's probably the biggest test for us is to be patient because we're we're sitting here doing the overthinking as well. Um and you might be asking yourself a lot of questions around this person, like, were they really right for me? Could they give me what they, what, what I want? Like, yeah, I want them, but are they ready to be the person I want them to be or the person I need them to be? Like, some big questions that you've got, um, I think, going around on your end, but also on theirs. But you're definitely in their mind, ace the five of six. They're, they're thinking about how they walked away and they're really thinking about how things ended between the both of you. And they keep reliving these things um, over and over and over again. Okay, it's it's huge. It, it's definitely coming up for them. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it at that S line. So thank you again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to become a member, you will get access to member only videos. So you can do that via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, I do hope to be in touch again very, very soon. So please take care, everyone. And until next time, bye for now.